In this film, we'll show you how Angles and Pythagoras theorem are used in volleyball. First, we will talk about how Pythagoras' theorem is used in spiking. If you want to hit the ball cross court to the opposite corner, how far will the ball travel before it hits the ground? The court is 9 metres long and 9 metres wide. We can work out how far the ball will travel by using the Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. The distance the ball will travel is the hypotenuse, and the length of the court is the opposite, and the width of the court is the adjacent. We find our answer by substituting the lengths of a squared and b squared, meaning we are left with c squared equals 9 metres squared plus 9 metres squared, meaning that c squared equals 162 metres. To find out how far the ball travelled, we must find the square root of 162 metres. The square root of 162 metres is 12.72792206 metres, which is approximately 12.73 metres rounded to two decimal places. This is how far the ball has travelled to gain you a point. But if you're on the opposite team, you must receive the ball. When receiving the ball, if the angle of your arm is even a few degrees off, the ball will fly off in the wrong direction. In Holly's case, the angle between her arms and knees is too high. The angle is approximately 100 degrees, meaning the ball flew backwards. For the ball to go straight up in the air, her arms must be 90 degrees in line with her knees. But in volleyball, we not only want the ball to go up, but also go forward. To do this, we change the angle of her arm. If Holly's arms are adjusted to between 75 degrees and 80 degrees in line with her knees, the ball will bounce off her arms and rebound forwards. But now there's a blocker attempting to stop the ball coming over the net. If the blocker's arms are between 170 degrees and 180 degrees in line with their body, the ball will slip down in front of them, meaning the block was unsuccessful. If the angle is any higher than 180 degrees, the ball will fly backwards once again, meaning that the block was unsuccessful. When blocking, your arms must be at 120 degrees, meaning that your hands will be reaching over the net and will shut down the ball. This angle will ensure a successful block. The referee's whistle blows. With that final block, the game is over. The match has been won thanks to the player's excessive knowledge on how the Pythagorean theorem and angles are used in a game of volleyball.